Hi, my name is Jenna, and welcome back to This Musical Life. This is part two of how I chose music as a career. Okay, so I quit my job. I was full steam ahead with singing, and then COVID happens. I had two jobs lined up like so many people during COVID in the performing arena. I'm sure a lot of people can relate to this, but they got canceled and I didn't know for how long. So I hunkered down and I decided I really didn't know if it was supposed to be. Um, you know, like you try stuff and you work hard and then sometimes you have to pivot. And at this point, I thought that maybe it was my chance to pivot and find some other career that I could feel fulfilled in. And yeah, I was really just close to quitting for good. True story, I bought a pre -L -L LSAT? LSAT. I bought a pre-LSAT book to study for the LSAT because <laughs> I thought I was going to be a lawyer. Um, I was looking at all the crazy stuff happening in the world and I was like, you know what? We need some good lawyers out here. Um, but that, that was not my calling. So that lasted for three days. And then I just resigned to being at home like everyone else trying to figure out what life looks like during this time like all of us we really had a lot of time to think i really didn't sing for pretty much a full year i did not sing i did not practice i did not think about my career i just existed and tried to survive i think that year of not doing anything kind of prepared me for what I really wanted to do in the future. It made me think about the things I really liked. And once again, when I took a break from all this stuff, I realized I really love singing and I really love performing and I miss the routine of that and I miss that hard. A lot of times you go into something really liking a part of it and you get really excited about that potentially being your life's work, that you will make money from that, that that will be your job. And the reality is, no matter what you choose, it's just gonna be a job at some point. So once again, I was realizing these things that were really hard and stressful, these setbacks I would have, like COVID, were just little pieces along the way that I needed to get through so that I can continue to do the work I wanted to do. And it was not fun or easy for a long time. I decided to keep going and I made a plan that next summer to start to get back into gear, get my stuff going again. And this time I was full steam ahead. I was like, you know what? I just lost a year, I'm getting older. And in this field, unfortunately, age does matter at some point. So I put all my energy towards making good audition videos, getting it out to companies, applying for lots of programs, seeing what happens. And in the next year, I did get accepted to a couple pay to sing programs, which um, for those of you who don't know, pay to sing programs in the opera world are programs in the summer usually that you go to and you pay to be there to get training and to get um, connections, the name on your resume, all of that. And usually you have to do those pay to sing programs before you can go do a program where you're paid. So I went to a couple of these pay to sing programs in the summer of 2021. And that's where I really, more than having it on my resume, I got around people again. I performed with my peers again. I studied music. I got into that rhythm and in that community and that just propelled me forward. That's one thing I'll say about programs is when you're deciding which one to do, um, one really valuable thing that can happen when you do a program of any kind is just getting yourself around that community that gives you endurance and motivation. That's what happened for me. And after that summer, I think I just continued to try to get better and 
make better videos and find better teachers and that really got me on a roll. Fall of 2021, I decided that I was going to apply for artist diploma programs because I was finding it increasingly hard to pay for rent and for all my bills and coachings and lessons and all the things that I wanted to do to really be better. So I applied to two schools in Colorado. I applied to University of Denver, which was the school I did my master's degree at, and I applied to University of Colorado. Got accepted to both, which was really amazing, and decided to go to University of Colorado because I didn't know that community yet, and I wanted the opportunity to study with people that I didn't know and make new connections and learn a lot from that musical community. So that year of auditions, I did the same thing. I tried to make good audition videos. I did my best and I got a few auditions and ended up getting accepted to Central City Opera's um, apprentice artist program, which was shocking to me because I had just the summer before did my first pay to sing. So you just never know. Um, it was the right thing at the right time. And I went to do that that summer and had a great experience getting to know all the people there. We could do a whole other video on Central City, <laughs> but I'm not gonna go there now. I'm just gonna say I met some wonderful people and I, I got a lot of good knowledge from good instructors. Now, Central City really set me on a course to get more auditions. After that point, I really started getting a lot of live auditions and this last year was so crazy traveling all over the place and just trying to perform and audition and do school because I had started my artist diploma. So I'm currently in the summer after my first year of the artist diploma going into my second year and I'm performing a lot. Um, not everything's good pay, not everything is the highest form of art, but it's great and it's steady and I'm happy. So this is where we're at. We're going into another audition season, seeing what happens. This last year I did not get into any of the bigger programs, but I found other opportunities and I had a great time. So this summer I really sat down and thought about what I wanted to do. And this is something that I've always wanted to do. I've always wanted to create something where we can connect and we can talk about stuff and that is just kind of a creative outlet for me. You know, I was, I was thinking about putting this out into the world and starting a YouTube channel. I was thinking that it sounded pretty silly, <laughs> but as I was sitting and thinking about all the ways this could be perceived by other people, I then thought the idea behind it is that the act of creating this is changing me. And this is making me feel more like myself and challenging me. And no matter what happens to this channel, this is going to be a learning curve for me and a thing that I can look back on and say that I put myself into as a creative. So thanks for being here. Thanks for joining this journey. And I will probably share a lot more about you know, specifics of this journey that I've been on. But for now, I just wanted to give you an overview of where I'm coming from and why I'm here. So thanks for being here and stay tuned for other really fun videos. I've got some guests lined up to come on and it's going to be a great time. All right. Bye.